Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I received a 1 6th Michael Myers from Yondu Toys based on the Halloween Kills movie. Um, I contacted them through Instagram to find out, you know, I've been seeing their work before and, and loved what they do. And I contacted them about getting one of these done and they've sent one through to me which has been brilliant uh, came in just after Halloween and to be honest I'm absolutely blown away by the, the figure um, like I said based on the Halloween Kills Michael Myers from a few years ago um, a movie that I sort of like but hate at the same time uh, nowhere near as bad as the last one in my opinion but the actual scenes with Michael Myers in it is, you know, the best thing about the movie. Uh, the rest of the cast sort of stuff and the Evil Dice Tonight stuff is pretty shit, to be honest. But we get a really good Myers from this movie. Um, I love what they did when he gets burnt. And I love the brutality of what he's like in the movie. So, but I'm just here to show you what this figure's like and what... Uh, Yondu Toys have done to the Trick or Treat Studios um, coveralls, body, etc. So let's just have a quick look at what they sent me. So it came with a stand, a custom stand, um, and the certificate of authenticity, the final kill. Um, and these things here are what came with the original Trick or Treat Studios Halloween Kills Michael Myers set. So um, we didn't do anything different to that, which is totally fine. So when I received the figure back, I got um, to see the coveralls be completely modified, basically. Um, what they've done is they've stripped the stripped the coveralls, taken the the, um, the zip out there, the, the big sort of zip that's normally on the end, which is quite an eyesore to be honest. Um, they've re-dyed and heavily weathered the um, the coveralls, and they've also added specific wounds he took in the movie, stabs in the. Uh, the abdominal area and things like that that wasn't on the original Trick or Treat Studios coveralls but if you can go in here I'm just saying because it's before it goes out of focus the craftsmanship's amazing and I think again which I always say is when when you're looking under the lights on the module case I think to the real eye sometimes the figure can it's looking a little bit bright here but it looks a lot more sort of dull and dirty and sweaty etc in like you know sort of the real eye sort of thing and then let's go turn around turn him around it's going to stay up yeah and then from behind again really well weathered just like that i mean the hand is pretty good from trick or treat studios anyway so that they were all good already anyway but you can see at the back here, proper stab, burns. Yeah, it just looks grimy. Yeah, really good, excellent. Let's just have a look at this head sculpt now then. Actually, let's look at the back while we're here. And you can see the burn marks. Yeah, let's have a proper look, anyway. Here we go with the head sculpt which to be honest is absolutely stunning. Uh, the detail in everything is amazing. Uh, this is their sculpt, modified. It's not the Trick or Treat Studios sculpt. Basically what I did is I sent them the Trick or Treat Studios figure without the head sculpt and they sent me back their modified sculpt. So, if you look in there, the burns. Sorry, guys, I'm not getting the words at all. The craftsmanship's amazing. You can see the eyes through here as well. 
but um, I can't remember that you can just see them through there. But this is a, if you look how close I mean, it looks absolutely brilliant. And, uh, just look, uh, I don't know, it just looks so screen accurate to me. Now, obviously, if you look at some hero masks, they're a bit more yellower and a bit more darker. But this was based on the grand entrance scene when he encountered the firefighters, and which is my favourite scene in the movie, to be honest. And I think when you come back and have a look, sorry guys, it looks awesome, so much presence. I think he might have filled the body out a little bit as well. There might not have either a fat suit or padded, etc. Because the Trick or Treat Studios one was quite skinny. Um, and I know he's, um, uh, he's said he's, he's um, modified the wrist openings as well. So I don't know what that means, to be honest, because I haven't looked properly, so that's pretty bad. But I think it's either the, on the coveralls or the wrist themselves have been a bit opened up. Um, so you can get the wrist pegs in a little bit more because they, they do sit really well, the, the coveralls here, against the wrists. Where, I mean, some of the Trick or Treat Studio ones have been absolutely beautiful, like Halloween 5 and 6, I think it is. And if you actually look at the new um, Donald Pleasance figure they're bringing out, the wrist pegs, I don't know how even that got through the quality control photos, because they look so bad. But the Luminous figure come out. But this is, I'm just blown away how good this looks. The detail is stunning. Yeah, it's 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 so good. And again, like I said, so much shelf presence. Can't stop looking at it to be honest when it's under the light, when it looks good. Before I put the head back on, I just wanted to show you the weathering they've done on the neck. Which I didn't really notice until I took the head off and looked properly. But you can see the t-shirt and the sort of burn on the neck. Which looks really good. There's so much detail in there. Yeah, looks excellent. So this is the view I get from my desk uh, when I'm working and I think it looks pretty ace nice. again under the lights it looks quite down a bit. So you can see it. But this is the view I get from when I'm sitting at my desk. And I've just put this pose on now of Myers coming out of the uh, Strode house just about to destroy the uh, um, firefighters. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so happy how this came out. It looks absolutely brilliant. I'll put Yondu Toys' uh, like I said, I'll put their um, contact details in the description. If you want to talk to them, they do horror and they do other figures, a lot of, loads of customs. But yeah, blown away by the artmanship on this, craftsmanship rather. This looks awesome. Proper dark. <laughs> it looks great.
Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. Please like and describe, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Take care, bye.